What's up, everybody, and welcome to Buzzworthy TV. And I'm your girl, Lady T. Y'all, I don't know where y'all at, but where I'm at is officially after midnight. So you know what that means. It is officially the last day of Jumpstart January celebration time. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm crazy, y'all, I know. But, I want to just do this last video and say it's been one heck of a journey. And I've enjoyed every minute of it. And I really want to give a couple of shout outs. Uh, particularly to Cemented. Thank you, Cemented, for kickstarted jumpstart january and for tagging me because if it wasn't for you i wouldn't have got the subscribers that i've gained shout out to my new subscribers hey everybody and i would not have you know how could i say this i would not have put it upon myself to do a video every day and for someone who's new to YouTube, I actually think this is a good way if you really are taking this seriously and if you really want to use this to expand your brand, I think this is a good way to gain practice and to gain experience because doing a video a day has really, I don't know, I really feel like I've grown and I'm just excited. I'm so, thank you Cemented because without this opportunity, I wouldn't have grown as much as I have. My channel wouldn't have grown. You know, so I just really thank you. Thank you so much. So anyway, I want to give a shout out to my Jumpstart January squad. Okay, we got my boy Mike B still hanging in there. Smoke three, smoke break, sorry. Smoke break 314. Tam G. Lady Nika. Shout out to you. You know, not only she doing Jumpstart January, she come in, she come in. You can tell she watched the videos. And I just want to take the time out and thank her so much for the love and support. So, thank you. So, um, that ghetto view. And then we also have James Caldwell and Miss Nappy Love. Those are the ones that have stuck in, hung in there with us with Jumpstart January. And check out their channels, y'all. I'll tell you, their channels are really cool, great people. So definitely check out their channels. And I just want to do some special shout-outs to the people, like I said, that I just adore. Of course, Forrest Rocks, Squeaky Jones, love you, girl. And then Bonnie Blue, much love from KY, Compton Native Hub City. Always comment, always showing love and support. Thank you so much. Um, Random Addict, check out her channel. She is really cool. Like her, Jamila TV, check out her channel. And it's a She Thing TV, came across her channel. Love her channel. Um, yeah, check out all their channels, y'all. Really cool people. They give great reviews and just great commentary all the way around. Okay. So, enough of all that, because this ain't really a shout-out video. I just wanted to really just show some love to my squad. Um, let's see. Y'all, I really do feel like I have grown throughout this process. I mean, we come into, you know, it's the end of Jumpstart January. And, you know, I, like I said, I've been more comfortable in front of the camera thanks to this experience. And I've learned how to be... As it's secure, because I may come off. Well, I don't know how I come off. You guys leave that in the comments. But maybe I think I come off as like somebody that's really confident. And I am. But this is something that I consider being doing out of the box. Like I said, I've been toying with doing a YouTube channel for a long time and just never did it. I would use. Stupid things like, oh, my laptop is janky. <laughs> and I do, y'all. Actually, when I get my taxes, I'm getting me a laptop. And when I tell y'all when I get my new uh laptop with a webcam, y'all ain't going to be able to tell me nothing when it comes to this channel. But anyway, 
So I used that as an excuse. I had a janky old laptop. Then I had a tablet and I was trying to do it, but that didn't work out. So I was like, oh, well. And this time, I would not give up. I was like, you know what? Forget it. If this is what I want to do, I'm going to do it via my tablet, via my phone, and just get started. So when I do get my new laptop, I'll be already comfortable and I'll be ready to go in. So it really helped me not to be as self-conscious because when I first came out here, I felt, I don't know, I was kind of nervous and then... I was like, ooh, my lighting sucks. Ooh, my commentary sucks. Like, I was really critiquing and judging myself. And I think I was overthinking it at first. And I was looking at some old videos yesterday while I was at work. And I'm like, wow. Thanks to this experience, I think I've come a long way. I feel like the best way to be successful at this and... It's to be yourself. And I think I'm more comfortable in my skin in front of the camera now. So I really love that. And, you know, I've learned that, you know, as long as you be yourself, it don't matter. And I also learned, like I said, everybody ain't going to like you. <laughs> Remember that. Everyone is not going to like you. So the more videos I've done, the more subscribers I've gotten. But yeah, like I, I don't know if C Bits had told y'all. But yeah, I lo I gained a lot of subscribers and I lost a few. But y'all, I was getting all into my feelings, but I didn't know that that's part of the part of the process. I didn't know that. So I was, like I said, getting insecure, you know, in my feelings and feeling insecure because I'm like, wow. Am I saying something wrong? Am I doing something wrong? Especially because I know when I start talking about retro TV, I tend to go in and I will use the F bomb. I will use the B word. I will use the nigga word. I mean, I will use the N word. Because to me, when you look at this stupidity and this ignorance, you just be want to be like, what is wrong with you? So, I get agitated, and sometimes you need to preface how you feel with a cuss word. But I'm working on it. I'm working on it. So, I'm like, maybe it's something I did. Maybe when I get into, you know, stuff like Love & Hip Hop, maybe I come off a little too ratchet. I was really thinking, like, dang, was it something I said? Because I lost, like, five subscribers. And then I was getting dislikes on my channel. Not that many, but, shoot, you know, when you do to this... You start to take it personal. But now, you know, I'm learning that it's not personal. People go have their opinions. Not everybody going to like you. So, if I had to take in this Jumpstart January journey, I wouldn't have known that I would still be in my feelings. So, it helped us expedite a lot. The growth of my channel, me being comfortable in my skin, in front of the camera. And even that process of knowing that people always going to have something to say. And you just got to keep it moving. So, you know, I actually have learned a lot. I don't know. I know y'all like, she's taking this way too serious. But hey, like I said, I take everything as a learned experience. Okay. And also, what I have learned, y'all, doing videos every day is not as easy as it looks. Like, before I did Jumpstart January, I was following Forrest Rocks on her nonstop November thing. I was going on there, looking at all her videos every day. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. But never knew the time and the energy that it takes. And I'm telling y'all by like... The last week, when I tell you I have been exhausted from work and everything else, I don't know how I did it. And then I was watching C. Minton's video when she was talking about it's ruining her personal life. I'm like, girl, been there. I'm sitting up here doing Jumpstart January, excuse me, Jumpstart January videos for work. Like, I'm literally had in the corner trying to do a video because... I'm working like 14 hours a day. I mean, it was fun in a sense that I was like, wow, I got that out. You know, let's see how many views I get while I'm sitting up here working. But 
Yeah, it can get kind of stressful, and I didn't know that. You just never know until you try something. Like, I didn't know. It's way, doing a video every day is way harder than it looks. So, yeah, and like I said, that thing I learned, everybody's not going to like you, but that's okay. As long as you be yourself, that's all you can do. Anyway, y'all, to next time, peace and love. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye.